Hello and welcome to today's video. This video brings to you the best five modern shipping container house designs from our latest collection of container homes plants. Stay tuned to find out more. Good, welcome back. In this video series, we present to you bespoke modern shipping container house designs ranging from our smallest design done using two 20-foot shipping containers to our largest house designed with five 40 and 20-foot shipping containers. This video covers a complete presentation of 3D floor plans and full color pictures that are free to use on your own shipping container house project. We post weekly videos featuring custom design shipping container homes and reviews of house designs from around the world. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas. So, the best five shipping container modern house designs we present to you are Number one, the first house design we are looking at is Breezebox 320. Breezebox 320 is a small shipping container house designed using two 20 foot shipping containers. We've managed to accommodate the following salient features in this particular design. We have a, a nice entrance lobby linking the two wings of this particular house. We have a kitchen, we have a clock room, we have a laundry space and a small yard. We also have a full bedroom that is master in suit with a walk-in closet and an outdoor dining space. On the exterior, we managed to retain the original colors and markings of this particular shipping containers so that we can preserve its charm and history. We've also covered the shipping containers with a corrugated steel roof to protect it from direct weather elements. Feel free to explore different sizes of windows and uh, also accommodate as maximum uh, lighting as possible to help kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container. You are also encouraged to explore different exterior finishes that you find appropriate. We also have a nice outdoor dining space that also enhances the functionality of this small house and therefore you are encouraged to try out different outdoor seating arrangements. On the inside we've used light colored finishes and also we've used uh, minimal furnishing to avoid clustering the space with unnecessary furniture. Feel free to use light colored finishes to make the space look brighter and bigger. The second house design is Link Box 640. This is a small shipping container designed using a single 40 foot shipping container and a 20 foot shipping container. This is a three bedroom house with a kitchen. We also have a dining space and a lounge space. There is a common bathroom that is shared between those two bedrooms and the master bedroom is ensuite. We also have a generous outdoor seating arrangement in an L-shaped format. We've managed to accommodate a flat roof on this particular shipping container to protect those shipping containers from direct weather elements. You can also try out a planted roof if you live in areas that are conducive for that kind of uh, roofing. We've also used uh, standardized window sizes and we also have full height folding glass doors for maximum daylighting and also for access. You can try out different colors and materials for exterior finishes like what you've used in this particular design. We've managed to try out a bit of timber and also some plasterboard and also the original uh, corrugations of steel uh, containers so that you can preserve its original colors and charm as usual. Different sizes of windows can be explored so that we have very minimal modifications on the structure of this particular shipping container. In this particular sense, we have a generous outdoor seating space that can allow you 
to at least enhance outdoor living to compensate for the limited indoor living environment that comes with shipping containers. Yeah, on the interiors, you are encouraged to use light colored finishes. You can also try out light furnishing like what you've used in this particular lounge space so that you don't clutter the space with unnecessary furniture. Any other furniture that can be used to enhance outdoor living, feel free to explore it. Yeah, you are also encouraged to try out different materials as usual. Try out different uh, elements like trellis to accommodate a bit of climbers to enhance that particular arrangement. The next house we are looking at is Box House 640. This is one of the most amazing and the most popular house design in this particular series. It is designed using two 40 foot shipping containers that have been placed parallel to one another with a one meter wide gap in between. The salient features we've managed to accommodate in this particular house include a three bedroom house with a master ensuite. We have a nice a galley kitchen. We also have a small laundry space, a dining space, a lounge space, and a generous outdoor sitting space. Yeah, we've retained the original cargo doors which have been provided with full height sliding doors to enhance access and daylighting in the space. We have a generous outdoor sitting space that has been covered with a glass canopy to protect the space from direct weather elements. We also have a nice water feature which can be used to regulate temperature and also to improve the aesthetic appeal of this particular outdoor sitting arrangement. Yeah, you can uh, explore different arrangements that you find appropriate, but in this particular side, we've used full height folding glass doors to enhance access and link the inside to the outside of this particular house. Feel free to explore different types of uh, uh, finishes in terms of exterior finishes. We have two large uh, concrete walls, or you can also use stone walling to at least in case the two shipping containers to just add a bit of charm and aesthetic appeal and also to increase the design flair of this particular design. We've used the trellis in those wide outdoor openings to accommodate a bit of greenery. Yeah, different colors can be explored in this particular side. We used a uh, bright red to enhance the visibility of our design. You can try out different materials in terms of uh, exterior finishes like the red bands around the windows and also a bit of uh, landscaping, a bit of flowers and greenery to enhance the charm of your shipping container house. Yeah, We have a main entrance on the side of this particular design so that it can complement the original cargo doors in an open position. On the inside we've used light colored furnishing as usual to avoid cluttering the space and allow it to look more spacious than what it is. Yeah, a lot of lighting also does a bit of justice to this particular arrangement. The fourth, the fourth house design we are looking at is wedge box 640. Wedge box 640 is a shipping container house designed using two 20 foot shipping containers and a single 40 foot shipping containers. They've been arranged in such a way that they form a wedge with a corrugated steel roof and a corrugated steel siding on the edges. The salient features we managed to accommodate in this particular arrangement includes double volume living room, which has a sitting space and a dining space. We also have a staircase that is linking to the first floor level, which has uh, two bedrooms and a family living space. We also have a kitchen and a laundry space on the ground floor level. We also have a uh, generous outdoor seating arrangements. Yeah, we have uh, two outdoor seating spaces on the ground floor level, one at the front and the other one at the rear of the building. And we also have a roof terrace on top of the 40 foot shipping container for family living. This one is accessed directly also from the master bedroom. And we have uh, used a shed like roof in a wedge shape to at least give a bit of character 
to this particular house and also to enhance the aesthetic appeal of this amazing house design. You can explore different materials in terms of finishes like the double volume uh, living room has been enhanced in terms of different materials to at least fill up the bare walls inside the shipping container house. We've also used a trellis and uh, with a bit of planting to at least protect and shield the outdoor seating spaces from direct weather elements. The space has been linked up vertically with a single flight staircase so that it can enhance access. We've used light colored finishes on the interior and a bit of light furnishing also. You can also try out uh, flat pack cabinets for your kitchen and the wardrobes so that you can save on time and money because uh, flat pack cabinets come uh, in a range of colors and design choices you can pick from. This also gives you an opportunity to explore what is appropriate. And uh, The last house design which is our largest house design in this particular series is Dwellbox 1400. Dwellbox 1400 is an amazing shipping container house designed using five shipping containers arranged in such a way that we have a pair of 40 foot shipping containers stacked on top of another pair of 40 foot shipping containers with an additional 20 foot shipping container arranged in a cross section manner to create a private courtyard at the rear of the building. Yeah, so the salient features we've managed to accommodate in this particular design include an open plan living space on the ground floor level, yeah, which has a living space uh, comprising of a lounge, a dining that can sit a maximum of eight, an open plan kitchen with a kitchen island with a breakfast table, and also we have an outdoor sitting space and a full uh, serviced guest wing. On the first floor level, we have a master bedroom that is en suite with a mini lounge. We have a, a rompers room which can also act as a children's playroom or a TV room. We have a common bathroom and two other bedrooms. On the same level, we have a nice outdoor seating arrangement on top of the guest wing shipping container that provides an outdoor seating space. This particular design we've managed to explore different exterior finishes. We have those timber slats and timber cladding on the uppermost shipping container and also different colored shipping containers have also been used to enhance the aesthetic appeal of this amazing shipping container house. We've also managed to provide a nice shipping container swimming pool that comes with this particular design. So you are encouraged to check our, our previous video on how to design and make a shipping container swimming pool so that you can learn more. Yeah, we also have uh, the Juliet balconies provided right there using the original cargo doors, especially to the master bedroom. Yeah, we have full height folding doors that allows for maximum daylighting to help kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container house. So this design of what I would call a semi-detached house can fit very comfortably in a narrow plot. So if you have a narrow plot and you are looking for a low cost alternative to conventional housing, then you can try out this amazing shipping container house designed using five uh, shipping containers. On the interiors, try out light colored finishes and also light colored furniture so that you can make your space look a bit spacious and bigger than the usual configurations of shipping container Mod modules. The containers have been roofed with a corrugated steel roof to protect them from direct weather elements but we have a nice outdoor seating terrace for at least maximum family living. So what do you feel about our shipping container house designs? Do you have any question? Feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration Feel free to check out our amazing videos on our YouTube channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our amazing design ideas from shipping containers. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.